Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and we're taking a closer look at the HTC Butterfly which is currently their flagship device until the HTC One arrives here. Alright, so let's talk about the design first. So in front you have this 5 inch full HD display that's uh, using a Super LCD 3 and Corning Gorilla Glass 2. And the bottom here you get these 3 capacity buttons that's similar to the earlier HTC models. At the top you have a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a notification light is actually hidden in this earpiece. Uh, personally, we feel that the notification light um, is quite discreet and it's hard to notice during uh, outdoor conditions. We prefer with HTC actually move it outside of this earpiece so that it's more noticeable in outdoors. All right. So at the back here, you have this uh, glossy red um, panel which is rather plasticky. Um, it feels quite cheap to be honest. Um, we prefer if HTC use um, matte materials, just like the HTC One X. Uh, that looks actually more upmarket than this uh, plasticky looking um, panel. And if we run our fingers through this HTC logo, it's quite rough to the fingers as well. So the top here, you have an eight megapixel camera with assisted flash, and this camera is actually quite um, quite has quite a wide angle to it as well. So if taking group shots with this device, it shouldn't be an issue. At top here, you have a power button. Uh, earphone jack and you have this uh, flap cover here as well that, that houses the micro SIM and micro SD slot. At the bottom here you get this uh, flap cover to cover the micro S sorry micro USB port and if you notice that there's a lot of flaps being used on this device um, that's because the HTC butterfly comes with some form of water resistance um, it's more of a splash proof device than, uh, than a, something that you can actually submerge underwater so take note of that not for you to take to the swimming pools okay in terms of uh, hardware specs, it comes with a quad core 1.5 gigs processor with 2 gigs of RAM, and on board there is 32 gigs of, sorry, 16 gigs of storage, which you can expand with micro SD. And powering the device is a rather little 2020 mAh. In our long-term usage, we get about 12 hours to 13 hours. Not too bad, but we're hoping that they pack a bigger battery instead. But still okay for this device, to be honest. And if you need more uh, juice, there's power saving options as well that's, that disables various functions like uh, vibration when you touch the buttons. And since this is a GSM only device, you don't get LTE, but it supports HSPA Plus as well. And another bummer is that it lacks NFC connectivity at the back here. So like HSPA One X has been launched last year and it comes with NFC, but it's just a bummer that this doesn't have it. So you can't do that uh, Android beam of transferring files between two devices by touching the back panels. Okay, so in terms of UI, okay, the interface is running on an Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, and um, it comes with, and it runs on this uh, Sense 4 Plus. Uh, some of the improvements we notice that the browser now doesn't run on full screen mode, so you still can see this notification bar at the top. Previously, we find it quite annoying when they forces the browser to run at full screen, but personally, we still prefer using Chrome as a default browser. What you'll get as well is this car mode which is quite a nice interface if you have this car dock in your um, car uh, holder. You have these nice big buttons which is easy to press with one finger and even if you press the home button it still stays in this screen. To exit this hit back and click OK. In terms of camera it still retains the same burst mode capabilities as well. Uh, you can actually take pictures and record uh, camera sorry video in the same on the same interface. And while shooting videos, you can actually take pictures as well, up to 6 megapixels. And in terms of burst mode, you just need to press and hold. And um, if you want to shoot more than 20, because by default, there's a limiter here. So you can disable it by disabling this uh, limit to 20 frames in the options menu. Okay. And uh, currently, in terms of uh, software update, um, HTC says that they'll be bringing in the Sense 5 which is found on the HTC One with Blink Fit, um, is coming to this device uh, pretty soon. There's no date been mentioned, but it'll be coming here. So uh, what we're looking forward to is the new revamp um, recent task button interface here. Um, this is quite annoying. You only can see one app at a time. So if you want to switch between apps, it's quite, um, it's quite cumbersome. And a new Sense 5, what you'll get when you press this button is a grid of nine apps, running apps at the same time. So that makes switching so much easier. And we can wait for that. Overall, the device um, is pretty good um, for a 5-inch uh, device. Uh, we like the display. In fact, the display is, is actually quite gorgeous. 
even we will dare to say that it's much more vibrant than the Xperia Z, which also comes with a 5 inch full HD display. Um, compared to the HD One X, on the naked eye, in first impressions, it doesn't seem to be any different because the One X is actually that good. The display it feels like as if the display is floating. And but if you look closely, you notice that obviously the the butterfly is actually so much sharper in terms of text and 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 images. It's a pretty good uh, wide, um, pretty good um, <clears throat> angles as well. Okay. So this is a closer look at the HTC Butterfly, which is currently their flagship device priced at 2299 ringgit. Uh, the new one, the HTC one is coming to Malaysia as well with a similar price tag. So uh, we expect this to to have a to have a price revision in the next few months. So this is a closer look at the HTC Butterfly. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, and thank you for subscribing to our channel. This is soyachincha.com. See you guys later.